We are going to discuss about the carbon ion as intermediate in the organic synthesis. In the organic synthesis, we have variety of intermediates like carbocation, carbon ion, free radicals, elides. So, in the in these particular intermediates, the carbon ions plays a very important role in the organic synthesis, and we have variety of organic synthesis based on this carbon ion intermediate. Generally, the carbon ion is a intermediate compound which is carrying the negatively charged on the central carbon atom. And the geometry of the carbon ion is pyramidal shape and you, he, you have the structure of this carbon ion where it is having the sp 3 hybridized carbon and it is carrying one lone pair electron on the central carbon. And you can have the octet rule in the carbon ion means it satisfies the octet rule where it is having the 8 electrons around that particular carbon. So, it is satisfying the octet rule and generally the carbon ion it is stabilized by the inductive effect. Inductive effect we know that the inductive effect nothing but where the polarization of the electrons towards the more electronegative atom. Generally, the carbon ion is carrying the negative charge. So, it will be stabilized by the inductive effect in that that is a if any more electronegative atom is present then the carbon ion will be get stabilized. And the formation of the carbon ion generally the carbon ion is formed by heterolytic cleavage of the covalent bond. In the bond formation we know that where the two atoms are donating the electrons and it forms a covalent bond. In that when that particular covalent bond is undergoing the cleavage then we are going to get the two nuclear species here. One is the carbocation and carbon ion. Here in this particular cleavage of this bond where this A and B right. So, that it is carrying the two electrons, one electron is donating by the A, another electron is donating by the B. So, when in during that cleavage of this bond, where this bond cleavage takes place heterolytic fashion. So, the bond cleavage generally there are two types, one is a homolytic cleavage and the heterolytic cleavage. And the homolytic cleavage leads to formation of the free radical, where the newly formed species gets a one electron each and in the heterolytic cleavage where the bond cleavage takes place unequally. So, the electrons will be shared by two atoms unequally and one atom gains a negative charge here and another atom gains a positive charge. Among these two atoms where the atom is gaining the negative charge is called the carbocat carbon ion and the atom which is gaining the positive charge is called the carbocation and the carbocation is a electron deficient species and carbon ion is a electron efficient species here. And where these particular intermediates like both the intermediates carbocation and carbon ion both are involving in the chemical reaction and it is going to form the product here. And in this particular carbon ion is involving in variety of reactions and basically this carbon ion formation can be takes place by treating with the strong Lewis base. Because here this a particular compound where the alkyl halide or CH 2 X this is the alkyl halide. When we are treating this alkyl halide with base here the B 
where it is a base where this base is abstracting the proton from this particular carbon and it is going to have the negative charge on this particular central carbon and we call this species as a carbanion. And the some or other compounds also going to form by reaction of the variety of bases here, where by formation of this particular ethyl acetoacetate is done by treating of this 2 moles of ester, 2 moles of ester it is treated with the sodium ethoxide base and it is going to form your ethyl acetoacetate or acetoacetic ester. So, this is the combination of the 2 moles of ester here and generally this formation is called the Claisen condensation reaction. In the Claisen condensation reaction where the 2 moles of ester is participating in that the first mole is participating in this reaction and where you see this base ethoxide ion it is abstracting the proton from the first mole of your ester compound. Then this CH bond it is going to polarizing on this carbon and it is uh, forming the carbon ion here and the ethyl alcohol is a intermediate uh, it is a byproduct in this reaction here and the carbon ion is a intermediate in this compound here. And this intermediate carbon ion intermediate it is attacking on the second mole of your ester compound where this is acting as a nucleophile and in the second mole of carbonyl compound here you see this carbonyl compound it is acting as a electrophilic center and this is the nucleophile or the carbon ion. So, it is attacking it to electrophilic carbonyl center then this CO bond where the pi bond is polarizing on this oxygen and it is facilitating for the attachment of your this ester compound here. Then we are getting this particular intermediate compound and further in the third step where the oxide ion repolarizes it is repolarized between the oxygen and the carbon then it expels the ethoxide ion here. When this oxide ion is repolarizing between the oxygen and the carbon and it is expelling this ethoxide ion and we are getting this particular ethyl acetoacetate compound. Same way we can prepare the melonic ester by using the by using this carbon ion intermediate. Generally the melonic ester is having the two ester moieties here and it is prepared by using the carboxylic acid where this acetic acid it is involving in the chlorination reaction with the phosphorus atom here and it is going to form the alpha chloroacetic acid and this alpha chloroacetic acid which is replaced by the potassium cyanide and we are getting the cyanoacetic acid and this cyanoacetic acid upon hydrolysis it is giving the melonic acid. So, melonic acid is the having the two carboxylic acid functional groups here and this melonic acid further it is undergoing the esterification reaction in the presence of alcohol and concentrated sulfuric acid and further it is going to form the melonic ester or diethyl melonate. And this melonic ester is having variety of applications for the synthesis of higher number of the carboxylic acid compounds and some ketone compounds and some other organic functional groups here. Now, we will see the reactions of with strong bases. Here the melonic ester when it is treated with the sodium ethoxide base when it is going to form the carbon ion intermediate compound here and the ethyl alcohol is a byproduct in this particular reaction. And the C alkylation reaction, C alkylation nothing but where you can introduce the alkyl group on the carbon with help of the carbon ion here. So, for this where you can take the carbon ion this is the melonic uh, sodium salt of the melonic ester when it is treated with the alkyl halide R x is the alkyl halide here where the R group in the alkyl halide R is the carbon uh, carbocation here x is a minus R is carrying the negative charge x is carrying the positive charge here right. So, where this particular 
carbon ion is attacking on this particular R group and it is expelling the x minus here, then we are getting the R substituted carbon carbon compound here and we call this is the mono alkyl malonic ester. And same way you can introduce the two alkyl groups by treating one more mole of the alkyl halide here, where same compound where the mono alkyl malonic ester when it is further treated with the sodium methoxide base. So, this sodium methoxide it abstract the one more hydrogen from this particular alpha carbon and it leads to formation of a carbon ion here and this carbon ion further it is attacking on this alkyl halide and it is giving your dialkyl malonic ester. So, in this particular reaction where we are uh, introducing one alkyl group here and further we are treating the second mole of alkyl halide it is going to form as a dialkyl malonic ester. So, here this reaction is continuous up to availability of the alpha hydrogens here, here these are the alpha hydrogens. So, if the alpha hydrogens are not there then no alkylation is takes place here. So, generally in the malonic ester we have two hydrogen alpha hydrogens. So, it able to accommodate two alkyl groups and it leads to form the dialkyl malonic ester compound here. Next the synthesis of mono carboxylic acid. So, carboxylic acids also can be prepared by using malonic ester here and for this where we are taking this malonic ester compound and we are going with the hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis reaction nothing but where the removal of the means uh, addition of the water here. Generally the esters are very reactive with the water and it is undergoing the hydrolysis and we are getting this particular uh, methyl dicarboxylic acid here methylene dicarboxylic acid and further by reacting with the means further by heating at 140 degrees Celsius temperature where one carbonyl group is eliminated from this dicarboxylic acid and it is giving the mono carboxylic acid uh, nothing but your acetic acid here right where the evaluation of the carbon dioxide is takes place and the acetic acid is the main product in this particular reaction. Similarly, we can uh, do the hydrolysis reaction by taking the dialkyl derivative also. Here, where you can take the dialkyl group means by replacing of the hydrogens this from this carbon here, you can introduce the alkyl groups here. Then you get the dialkyl carboxylic acid derivative here. Then upon heating, so one of the carbon carbonyl group is eliminated as a carbon dioxide and we get the substituted carboxylic acid in the product here. Here you have one more example where you can see the diethyl melonate means here we are taking the ethyl group as this uh, in this particular compound and when we are doing the substitution of this particular alkyl group here two alkyl groups here the two hydrogens you see in the diethyl melonate we have the two hydrogens, two alpha hydrogens and two alpha hydrogens are replaced with the two alkyl groups that is a methyl groups here. So, it becomes di, dimethyl malonic ester and dimethyl malonic ester further undergoing the hydrolysis. So, upon hydrolysis where the ester group is undergoing the cleavage and it is forming as a carboxylic acid functional group here and carboxylic carboxylic acid functional group upon heating at 140 degree Celsius where one mole of the carboxylic acid group is eliminated and we have the isobutyric acid as a product in this particular reaction. And next the synthesis of dicarboxylic acid. In the previous case we, we have seen the synthesis of monocarboxylic acid and here we can synthesize the dicarboxylic acids also by this reaction. So, where we are taking the sodium salt of malonic ester and when we, uh, when we treated this two moles of sodium salt of malonic ester with iodine molecule here. Here is a sodium salt of malonic ester here and uh, above and the below and here is a two mole here is a iodine two molecules of iodine here. So, when it is treated where this sodium it is 
eliminated as a sodium iodide, 2 moles of sodium iodide. Here is iodine, here is a sodium and here is also sodium here, here is iodine. So, here uh, sodium and iodine, 1 mole of sodium iodine here and from this one another mole of sodium iodide is eliminated. Totally it is 2 moles of sodium iodide is eliminated from this reaction and we got this particular diester compound, ethyl diester compound here. And this diester compound upon hydrolysis in the acid hydrolysis where it is this particular ester compound is converting into carboxylic acid, where from here we are getting the two carboxylic acid functional group and from here also we are getting two carboxylic acid functional group. So, totaling it is tetra carboxylic acid compound and this tetra carboxylic acid compound by removal of the 2 moles of carbon dioxide where it is giving the succinic acid means uh, from the 4 carboxylic acid group 2 moles of carboxylic acid is eliminated as 2 moles of carbon dioxide and the left out is a uh, 2 acid groups here and generally we call this uh, alkene is a uh, succinic acid here. And similarly, you can prepare the substituted carboxylic acids also, where you see here is a alkyl substituted malonic ester, which is treated with the iodine molecule here and we got this particular R substituted dimelonic ester compound here. And dimelonic ester compound upon hydrolysis, it is giving the dialkyl substituted malonic ester derivative here and by heating at 140 degrees Celsius temperature where it is eliminated 2 moles of carbon dioxide and we are getting the 2 alkyl substituted carboxylic acid here. This is a succinic acid. So, 2 alkyl substituted succinic acid here and you can uh, repeat this experiment by uh, substituting the R with the methyl group here. So, where we are taking the methyl malonic ester compound and uh, when it is treated with the iodine molecule and we are getting this particular dimethyl succinic acid, diethyl succinic acid here. And uh, same experiment means same dicarboxylic acid can be obtained by reaction with the dibromo derivatives also. In the previous case where we are treated with the iodine molecule, but here in place of iodine molecule, we are taking the dibromo, alkyl dibromo derivative here. So, alkyl dibromo derivative when it is treated with the malonic ester, sodium salt of malonic ester. So, it is giving your diester compound by removal of the 2 moles of sodium bromide and this particular ester diester compound further upon hydrolysis where it leads to formation of the 2 carboxylic acid groups on each ca carbon moiety here. Then further upon decarboxylation, so by removal of 2 moles of carbon dioxide, it is going to form the, the higher, higher number of the dicarboxylic acid groups here. So, here CH 2 n, so in place of n you can keep any number like if n equal to 2, so where the 4 carbon containing dicarboxylic acid. If you, if you keep the 3, then 3 uh, carbon containing dicarboxylic acid. So, like that you can uh, substitute the variety of the uh, carbons in this particular place here. Now, the acetoacetic ester, acetoacetic ester are the ethyl acetoacetate here. This is another diester compound here. So, you can see this uh, ester compound where you can prepare by using the Claisen condensation method here. So, the Claisen condensation method which involves the treatment of the treatment of the 2 moles of ester compound with the sodium ethoxide compound and it gives the ethyl aceto acetate. This is the ethyl group here and this is the aceto group ethyl aceto and acetate here. And this ethyl aceto acetate generally it is involves in the intramolecular hydrogen bonding. You can see where this in the ethyl ester state. So, it is carrying the one ketone functional group and one ester functional group here. 
this is the ketone functional group, this is ester functional group. And here the CH2 group, this methylene group is located in between two carbonyl groups here. This CH2 group is located in between two carbonyl, here is a CO and here is also CO. Generally, the CO is a electron electronegative group here, right. This CO is a electronegative group means where it attracts the electrons. So, when this particular CH2 group is located in between two electron deficient groups, so where this C methylene group becomes highly acidic nature. So, these two protons, these two methylene protons are more acidic in the nature because it is located in between two electrophilic centers here. And so, this one of the hydrogen is one of the hydrogen is uh, removed by some base compound and where this CH bond is shifting towards this carbonyl group and it is exist in the enol form. This is your keto form and this is your enol form. So, we can say it is a keto enol tautomerism means it is a dynamic equilibrium reaction. Dynamic equilibrium means where the forward reaction as well as the backward reaction takes place with same rate here. So, here is the 50 percent of this uh, existence of your uh, keto form and 50 percent existence of your enol form. So, this is dynamic equilibrium and where this particular uh, equilibrium compound it is forming the intramolecular hydrogen bonding, where you see this is the enol compound here, it is a keto compound. So, uh, the hydrogen it is forming the hydrogen bonding with this particular oxygen of your ketone here. So, we say this is the keto enol tautomerism. And generally, the keto enol tautomerism uh, it is stabilizing factor in the organic molecules here. Now, the reactions of ethyl acetoacetate. So, ethyl acetoacetate when it is treated with the sodium ethoxide by removal of the ethyl alcohol. So, it generates the carbon ion. So, which is the intermediate uh, involved in this particular reaction here. So, and further this carbon ion which is conjugated with this carbonyl group here, this carbon ion is conjugated, conjugation means where well the alternate here double bond single bond double bond single bond. So, this is called the conjugation. So, we have this carbon ion is conjugated with this double bond of the carbonyl group here. So, it involves in the resonance and it is forming the oxygen oxygen anion here. This is your carbon ion and this is the oxygen anion. Now, the applications of this ethyl acetoacetate compound where the C alkylation. So, in this particular uh, reaction where you can introduce the alkyl group adjacent to this particular carbon here. For this simple by taking this ethyl acetoacetate, you first you treat with the sodium ethoxide then this sodium ethoxide can be abstract the proton from this uh, carbon here and it leads to formation of a carbon ion and that carbon ion further it is attacking on the alkyl halide which is taken in the reaction and the alkyl group is attached with this particular carbon and it expels the halogen here. So, we are getting the R substituted ethyl acetoacetate or we say it is a mono alkyl substituted ethyl acetoacetate. So, you can substitute to the second alkyl group also means same as your melonic ester here also the alkyl substitution will be takes place until the availability of the hydrogens present in between the two carbonyl groups here. So, here you see by taking the mono alkyl ethyl acetate when it is further treated with the sodium ethoxide this base compound sodium ethoxide it is abstracting the proton from this particular uh, methylene group here and it leads to formation of this carbon ion negatively charged carbon ion here and this carbon ion further it is taking this uh, alkyl group from this alkyl halide and it becomes dialkyl acetoacetic ester. And one more uh, example, you can introduce the alkyl groups adjacent to this particular carbonyl groups with the carb uh, means CO here. So, you can see acylation, 
the introduction of the SLS. SLS is nothing but the SL group CO, CO, CL is a SL group here. So, we are going to introduce the SL group on this particular carbon. So, we call it is a C acylation. When this particular sodium salt of your ethyl aceto acetate, when it is reacted with the acid chloride or COCl, it is where the nucleophile this C minus it is attacking on this electrophilic center and it is expelling the chlorine here and where the CO group or CO group is gets attached with your carbon. Then we got this monoacetyl acetoacetic acid. Then further uh, further introduction of your SL group here you can take because one more hydrogen is available for the replacement of the SL group here. So, you can treat with the another mole of sodium ethoxide then the sodium ethoxide it abstract the proton from this particular carbon and it leads to formation of a carbon ion here and this carbon ion further it is reacting with your second mole of acid chloride and where we are getting the diacetyl acetoacetic ester. Next uh, synthesis of ketones. So, you can synthesize the ketones by using the ethyl acetoacetate. Here when you do the hydrolysis to this ethyl acetoacetate, we got the ketone derivatives here. Here uh, we are taking this ethyl acetoacetate compound here, the uh, simple ethyl acetoacetate compound and when we are uh, introduce the water to this particular ethyl acetoacetate, from this water where the OH group is attached to this ethyl group here, then it becomes ethyl alcohol. So, it is removed as a ethyl alcohol and the hydrogen from the water where it is attached to this particular C S 3 C O C H 2 R here. So, it is becoming your it is becoming your ketone here right. So, in this way we are getting the ketone derivative by treating with the water in the acidic medium. So, in place of R where we are taking the methyl group here. So, alpha methyl acetoacetic ester. So, in the alpha methyl acetoacetic ester where when you are doing the hydrolysis you can see the addition of water. So, from the water the OH molecule is attaching to this ethyl, ethyl group here then it becomes ethyl alcohol and the hydrogen from the water H 2 O where it is attaching to this uh, C H 2 group then it becomes C H 2. So, you have the uh, this is particular C S 3 C O C S 3 right and this particular compound group this C double bond O and uh, single bond O this is removed as a carbon dioxide from this reaction. In this way we are uh, synthesizing the ketones by using the ethyl acetoacetate and we can synthesize the diketones also. For this where we are taking the where we are taking the C acyl derivatives here, where this C acyl derivative when it is undergoing the hydrolysis reaction. So, we are getting this uh, diketone compound, here is a diketone compound and uh, where this uh, in term means the medium point it is removed as a carbon dioxide and the, the terminal group is removed as a ethyl alcohol and where the this acyl group is taken as a COCH3 acetyl group here. Then when we are repeated this reaction, so we are getting the pentane 2 comma 4 dione compound and the carbon dioxide and ethyl alcohol. And same way we will get the variety of carboxylic acids and ketone compounds from this particular ethyl acetate here. So, Till now we are discussed about the carbon ion based organic synthesis. So, the carbon ion it is a very important intermediate compound which is involved in the organic synthesis and if you see the structure of the carbon ion it is having the pyramidal geometry and it is carrying the one lone pair electron on that and it is involving in so many reactions and basically we can prepare the acetoacetic ester and melonic ester compounds from this carbon ion here and this acetoacetic ester and melonic ester is going to prepare variety of organic compounds and if you see that uh, reactions. So, where here is a particular compound how to prepare this particular acetoacetic ester 
uh, you can see the Claisen condensation, very important reaction to prepare the ethyl aceto acetate derivative. So, you can see where uh, this particular comp two ester molecules is involving in the reaction by the reaction with the ethyl oxide ion and we are getting the ethyl acetate acetate compound here. And generally this uh, ethyl acetate acetate compound is having the capacity of the dynamic equilibrium derivative here. So, in this particular reaction we got the keto form and the enol form here. By shifting of the hydrogen we are getting the two forms here and keto form and the enol form existence will be 50 50 percent. And if you see the structure of this particular ethyl H2 acetate here where the due to the fragmentally near the this oxygen of the ketone group here and the alcohol group of the hydrogen it is both are nearer to each other. So, they may involve in the hydrogen bonding and we got this cyclic nature of the compound here. 